Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Mo Money, baby. Mo Money, Mo Money, episode 52. Mo Money is your go-to gambling show where we don't put real money, but we really, really do care more than real gamblers. I just spilled all, not all. I told you, I'm tired. I'm sorry. Um, if you guys didn't know, I have 8 a.m.s. Um, I just spilled water all over myself. Water first before the all, not all water over myself. I just spilled water tough. all over my house. Yeah, all over myself. Um, but I'm powering through. I'm powering through. I'm your co-host, L.A. Rice, as always, joined by co-host, Mr. Chris Blake and Ethan Noon. Boys, how we doing? How was Thanksgiving? No episode last week, but uh, I dominated November. So what? But uh, how we how we doing? How we doing? Thanksgiving was wonderful. How was uh, yours, pal? It was great, man, in sunny Florida. Um, oh. Nobody noticed if I had a tan. I haven't gotten any compliments or bug anything. Bites. So. We, we heard about the bug bites, not the tan. Bug bites are brutal, man. Gosh. I, 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 my friend saw all the bug bites on my ankles. And um, she yeah. was like, those aren't bug bites. And I'm like, yeah, they are. And I was like, yeah, there's a million of them. Ugh. Are they mosquitoes or is it like sand flies? There were like these that? little pinhead gnat things. I'd never seen them before. They were at this mini golf course. Still power through. Week low, Nats. by the way. 34. 34. Nats suck, right? Nats suck. Don't you agree? Hey, Cesar Hernandez is going to put us over the top. I'm talking about G-N-A-T-S. Nats. Oh, um yes they do suck i also i'm not a fan of silent letters at all i hate silent letters i have a vendetta against silent letters they're stupid they're disgusting whoever made the english language just did it to be cute and nobody cares nobody cares but i love the g in front of nats the gnats something about it just yes. it's cool it's Isn't a lot it? of times it's it's very a g. cool it's it's cool nah. i like that but no, no, no. But my least favorite one is baloney in the silent. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. That's terrible. Let me search up best silent letters, best silent letter words. Um, Real G. Okay, there's not a silence list. Like Wait. lasagna. If you know what I'm saying. Um, Thank you, Chris. No. Yep. Yeah. Noon. Let's. Yeah. Well, let's move on. That was bad. <laughs> I'm just. Um, that was geez. Um, we might have to do a top five favorite best silent letter words. Is that back to back weeks with an awful Chris Blake joke? That wasn't a joke. Yeah. It's that's I think that's back to back. I think that's back to back. Yikes, Chris Blake. That's from a song. Moments. Speaking moments. That's from it's, a song. Um, I've already made my ruling. That's no, no, no. I think. Chris has to take his headphones off for five minutes. I don't know. I'm cutting that. We'll put him in the, <laughs> putting him in the penalty box. Welcome it's, in, uh, uh, welcome in a Mo Money episode yeah. 52, where we don't put real money, but we yeah. care more than real gambler's. I'm your co-host, LA Rice. Uh, my co-host Ethan Noon, Chris Blake. Boys, what's he I trying was, to do here? I'm starting it there. That's where the episode's starting. Big of you to include my uh LA and my name first before yours. Yeah, that's, that's big of you. I'll, I'll oh, know. one more thing I have a gripe about. Okay, I'm on a roll with the silent letter stuff. Chris, I'm disappointed in you. I'm not sad, but I'm disappointed. I'm not sad, but I'm disappointed in you, Chris Blake. And I haven't been, I don't think I've ever been disappointed in, in Chris Blake. You know what he did to me, Ethan? Noon? What? Everything changes in life, okay? The only thing constant, the only thing stable, death and taxes. We've all heard that, okay? Um, I've changed a lot over the years, but I've kind of stayed the same. One thing that's been a constant in my life since eighth grade, Clash of Clans. Every single oh. night, I check Clash of Clans. Chris, the clan is dead. You guys are inact inactive. Nobody's donating. I'm leaving. I'm out. You know what? I've been playing. Should I do it on the pod? Yes. Yes. I've been explain I've been yourself playing, before for the Twitter clips. I've been playing Clash Royale lately. Wow, before that's what it I've loads. Been explain yourself. I can't. I've been inactive. I've been inactive. Larry, okay, I'm done. Done. Nothing for me to say. I'm done. Hyper Clan. I'll leave the bookmark. So what? Sure. For the memes, leave. I'm done. I want to leave. I'm out. Free agent. 
There's no way the green button let you leave. The green button. No, that's okay, right? Isn't it okay? Confirm. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. Um, I'm a free agent. I can't I'm officially you a free agent. That. Yeah. So if I yeah, made a claim today, inactive. theoretically, I could sign you. Well, yeah, I mean, you you got to get a big pitch. I'm a big time better. Is there still uh? Is there still global chat? One may say that you're no. the Max Scherzer of free agency. Um, there's no and global the chat York TV. Mets. There's no global chat TV. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know who Thank that you. guy is. I don't know who that guy is. I, I like I said in the chat last night. I'm very, very impressed with the commitment to the Heat and the yeah. like complete degree you'll go to ignore or blank blank. Yeah, in Larry, you you had the worst. I'm gonna be honest. That was the worst attempted troll in my life. The worst timing. What you saying? I think it was literally like 24 hours after Max Scherzer officially signed with the Mets. You out of nowhere said Tom Brady left the Red uh, the Patriots for the Buccaneers. Yeah, worst timing ever. Um, There's no, no way you because were, that's no, some no, no. weird like like no. some weird thing where you want us to attack you. I can't, there's no <laughs> way you didn't know that was coming. I just can't believe you have a guy like Tom Brady. People think he's established. He has this documentary on his career while he's still playing. Imagine leaving a franchise as well established as the Patriots for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Are you kidding me? It's pathetic. Hey, it's pathetic. new challenge. And uh, in one year in the NFC, his uh, same number of NFC championship wins as Aaron Rodgers, who's been there for 20 years. Oh, You're come weird, on, man. You're it's weird. Come on. You're weird. Why, uh, You're weird. Why, I wonder who he'll throw under the bus this week. You're weird, coach man. Or, his coach or his number this one wide receiver. This is 100% the weirdest his, Chris Blake slant his top I've ever he's, heard. He's a weird guy. I don't, I don't think you're a weirdo, Chris, but this is he weird. He hates – no, no, no. He I, I thought it. you he liked the Mike weird McCarthy guys. fired. He got no, Mike McCarthy this is, this fired. is like really He doesn't weird. talk McCarthy's to his McCarthy's a fat he idiot. Throws, <laughs> throw, he gets his coach fired. Call his family spade, doesn't talk to him. Matt his McCarthy family doesn't moron. talk to him. We saw that on The Bachelor. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, wait, 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 wait. We? Yeah. No, no, no. Noon, I was we. about to say, Noon, do you want to ask him? No, no, no. You got it. Um, Are you a Bachelor guy, CB? I used to. I wow. late high school, late high school to freshman year in college. Wow. I'd say my what peak happened? bachelor years was like junior year of high school through freshman year of college. Well, what happened? Um, I just did you did, did you get your predictions wrong or something, and it sent you over the edge? No, but I know you bachelor just, fans like to make your charts. No, I, no, no, no. I never made a I never made a bracket with the with the bachelor thing. But I, you know, I did watch it. Um, but then I just kind of fell off. Can't can't really explain it. Hey. Interesting. Hey. No um, commitment. To this is going to be an interesting episode because uh, we're flipping the top five. Are we ready? I mean, we still got yeah. Indian's favorite person of the week. But can I explain it and then be like, oh, please, favorite person and player thing of the week? Um, so we usually do our top fives at the ends. We got so many picks, so many good chit chat. We have to cram it in. We're like, boom, 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 top five, boom, 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 boom. But with this top five, we want to think this one out. We want to talk about it a little bit. So we're doing it first. It's our personal top five favorite sports moments of all time. So they're going to be very personalized lists. I know we have the anonym, anonym, anonymity, anonymity. 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 Oh, yeah, Anonymity. this is going to be tough with that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah right. We, yeah, we have the <laughs> anonymity with the top five list. But, yeah, this one this one will tough. be pretty obvious. This one will be pretty obvious. But this will show the favoritism. This will show the favoritism. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to lose. Of the voters. I mean, we all know that. We all know. Oh, I'm lo- yeah, there's I, – I, I, It's actually, one of you two. I, well, I have no idea who LA is going to have up there. I know right, that's World what Series Washington is one. sports moments have Max really Scherzer happened. leaving DC is two. And after that, I, I don't know. Yeah. Bryce signing alongside with the Trey Turner, rival. Bryce Harper. Bryce, Bryce can Gomes. go be 500 every year. Jan I mean, Gomes. Go ahead. Yeah. Jan Gomes hurts. I know that one hurt. Stroh leaving the Mets. That, that was, that's an honorable mention for my top five Cubs, baby. Moments. I want to go watch him in Wrigley. You want to come? 
such I'd a loser. Down. If I bought tickets, if I bought down. tickets to a Cubs game uh, and plane tickets, would you? Yes, go? he'd go. Uh, yeah, yes, he would know. in a heartbeat. It's Wrigley. Sad. Strovers Kikuchi. It's the second most historic <laughs> field in, in 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 the country. Yeah. yeah. All right, Fenway. Uh, of course. No, uh, nobody cares about that shoe box. Nobody cares. <laughs> we're gonna save it. We're we're gonna save it for uh for MoCast. But Rich Hill, Michael right. Waka, James Paxson, must watch TV over there in uh Boston and Jackie. JBJ's oh, back, baby. Man. No, we're the saving best that. defensive player of all time. You mean? We're saving it. We're saving it. The uh, most dominant defensive player right. in MLB history. Um, I think his WRC plus was about. Too. Let's do Noon's favorite. Noon, who's your favorite person? You know, it's yeah. fitting that LA is throwing a tantrum about the Red Sox right now because my person of the week, I was a little bit worried about like a week ago. I texted Chris looking for help. Heim Bloom. Hey. I trust Heim Bloom. He's my person of the week. I trust Heim Bloom. He's making the correct signings. Our farm system is incredible. Tristan Casas is coming and LA is going to be scared. LA is scared yeah. of oh, yeah. Tristan Casas. Okay. Mm-hmm. We're coming. Marcelo Mayer, be the best player in baseball in 10 years. Yeah. Haters are sick. Uh, He's going to sign a deal for 450 million with us. Do we have uh, do, do we have a top like six farm system at this point? Yeah. Yeah. Who cares? 100%. Cade Cavelli is in like the 30s Dude. at this point, so who cares? Um, I How's he doing? Quick... How do you finish out? He, my, he struggled a little in AAA. Really? Struggled, oh, struggled man, a little in AAA. Really. No, but he made a couple bad starts, rebounded, and uh, he's been he's been good since. I think Who he was that in bomb off of him in, uh, in season last year, Chris. I forget. I yeah, know. I don't know some 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 Jeter guy. Um. Some also, guy. don't even get me started on Blaze Jordan. All right, don't even get me started. Oh, I'll be here all day talking about Blaze <laughs> Jordan. He, he'll he'll have a great highlight tape like Tavon Austin, and then uh, never whoa, do anything whoa, whoa, in a real whoa, game. Whoa. Tavon Austin, aka Mister, I'm coming off a touchdown last week. That's um by the way let me just make this quick comment and we can move on jackie bradley so his career ops plus is 87 that means he's 13 percent below league average for his career as a hitter last season and 134 games so i mean 428 plate appearances i think he might have been qualified or just below the threshold um he had an ops plus of 34 so if my math is correct that is um 66 points below league average as a hitter. Have fun with that. Your math is defensive stats. Um, yeah. Okay, let me look at it. The up. defensive stats stink, so. All right, let me look it up. Not Jackie's. Um, no, no. In general. All right, okay. All right, here it is. Um, Hunter Renfro, 112 OPS plus. Is that what you wanted? So that is a difference. Hold on, I'm on fire with the math. We got we got 78. So you're WRC you're big on plus. Hunter Enfro now. I I get because he's off the socks. I get it. Um, Weird. I mean he batted 260 with like 31 clockwork. homers, 816 OPS. So like clock, yeah, I, I am big on him. Interesting, yep. interesting. Yep. Um, all right, yeah, let's do top five. Yep. Um, I won last week, so can I go? Yeah, please. I actually, did win. Well, I won, so I, it doesn't right. happen I often. Like that when I win I'll week. admit it. I'll admit it. Um, all right. My number five is kind of pathetic. I'll admit it, but it is a top <laughs> five sport moment of all time. John Wall buzzer beater versus the Celtics. It's pathetic because we got killed by Kelly Olynyk in game seven, but I still remember sitting in my living room, him jumping up on no, the scoreboard. Cool. Yeah, it, it was a cool That's cool all the moment. Wizards have given you. It's not your fault. <laughs> um, yeah, until this year. Um, <laughs> Yeah, You're looking pretty right, dangerous. Below 500 at trade deadline. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure mm-hmm. you bum. You you bum. Wait, wait for what he has so to say mad. in the picks. Um, number four is Howie Kendrick grand slam in the NLCS. What a moment, man! I honestly thought it was a sack fly, and then that thing just kept going and going, way going to dead center field off of who was it off of? Some reliever for the Dodgers. He got blown up that oh joe kelly joe kelly that's who it was off of former red Sox. um howie kendrick grand, grand slam in the nlcs lost the dodger joe kelly lost the dodgers that season number three tiger winning the masters in 2019 coming back what a great great moment number two juan soto game winning hit in the wild card round two outs against josh Hader. 
I mean, awesome, awesome, awesome. What a moment. Beer flying everywhere, drinks flying everywhere, botched in right field. What a game. And then number one, off the foul pole, off the pal- foul pole. It was off the foul pole. Howie Kendrick, Homer, that clinched the World Series for us. Um, so number five, John Wall, buzzer beater versus Celtics in the championship series um, or conference finals. Sorry. Howie Kendrick, Grand, Grand Slam, N- NLCS four, Tyre winning the Masters 2019, Juan Soto game winning hit number two, number one off the foul pole, Howie Kendrick. It's a nice list. Thank you. Nice list. You have, so you have two from that 2019 run? Um, I have three. Three. Howie Kendrick, Grand oh, yeah, Slam, yeah, yeah. Juan okay. Soto wild card off the Foul Pole World Series. Yep. Nice. Very nice. Yep. Um, noon, me or you? you Your choice. Your choice. I'll go. Oh, LA's going to laugh at my number five. It's okay. Uh, 2018 Duke ACC tourney run when we beat Syracuse, UNC, and Florida State. I was there <laughs> for every game. So, I mean, it was incredible. Zion had just come back. <clears throat> and, uh, I mean, he was just dunking on everybody. He had two 30-point games. He was going off and, you know, beating UNC the way we beat him. And then walking outside the arena, seeing all the UNC fans, it was perfect. You couldn't beat it. I should have won a whole title that season, but whatever. Yeah. Um, <laughs> number four, um, Andrew Benintendi's catch in Houston in the 2018 playoff run. Um, I mean, less specifically, that whole title, that entire season, I mean, was just incredible. That, that team was amazing. I, Chris, how many wins did they finish with? Uh, 119. Wow, that's a lot of wins. That's a lot of that's a lot of nights I went to sleep happy thanks to that team. Yeah. I mean, they provided me with a lot of great sleep. So shout out to that just wagon of a team. Uh, my number three is when the Jags beat the Steelers in the AFC Divisional game. Oh. Uh, when Blake Bortles went into Pittsburgh for a second time that year and and just he wasn't even good in those games, but it didn't matter. Yeah. Uh, he did enough. <laughs> I mean, he was never good. He had a couple good games. Whoa. No, nah, come on. I mean, I love Blake. Blake is five of my the favorite boat? Jaguar of all time to this point. He but... had that good uh tw- yeah, it was 2015, 35. Yeah, but TDs, it was all garbage time picks. and we sucked. It was all garbage time. Right. We could have had a Blake Bortles. We should have had Case Keenum. We Case... should have had Blake a Blake Bortles, Bortles Case Keenum appearance. But yeah. someone was had a, the home was, cooking. Who who was the Vikings that someone year? Someone had the home cooking. Who was the Vikings QB that year? Was that Case Keenum? I think so. Oh, wow. We should have had Blake Bortles playing Nick Foles. Yeah. Instead, some fraud called up his, you know, his referees. LA knows all about that one. Don't worry. Nick Foles took care of those big, bad Patriots. <laughs> Salute, I didn't Nick like Foles. you saying that. Worst like Jaguar that. signing of all time. Salute. Oh. Uh, <laughs> my number two is the Duke 2015 Natty. And it was just, it was an incredible year. Uh, Tyus Jones was hitting daggers. Clint Cook was hitting daggers. Logo four looked like an NBA stud. That didn't work out. Uh, Justice Winslow was locking people up. That team was awesome. Um, one of my favorite Duke teams ever. Uh, until this one, this one's going to win a natty. Uh, number one is uh, the Cap Stanley Cup run. Just the entire thing. I couldn't pick one moment. Although if I had to, I'd pick the save. Mm-hmm. You know, Braden Holpe game two against the Golden Knights saves the series. Yeah. What an incredible series. That team... One of the worst Cavs teams of the OV era, and they won the whole thing. Um, they they really looked good in the playoffs. I mean, they went down 2-0 first round, and I thought, well, it's over. And we were going to you know completely start over, but we didn't. We won the whole thing. That run was incredible. Every game was incredible. Uh, we're doing it again this year. I don't care. Mm. Oh. All right. Good list. All right. All right. We can move on now because we, we... <laughs> I, I know. Let's I get know it over. I know. <laughs> Larry is looking forward to this. I mean, so much to choose from. Been blessed with uh, Boston sports. Um, honorable mention: uh, Rick Porcello double off Max Scherzer bases. Oh, order. that's a good one. Off in New York person, Met, Max Scherzer. In person, yeah. Off New York Met Max oh, Scherzer. I was, I was sitting right by that uh, fence. I couldn't but... believe that one on my TV. I could, I had to look again. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I thought he was uh, an ace, you, Chris. Ricky the, yeah. Drops. No, that was a great swing. Sorry, but you look. You look at that guy's stats, the pitcher who was pitching, I mean, it's easy to get extra base hits and home runs off him. He allows like 40 a year. Yeah, yeah. It's almost, credits you know, it it's bit. Rick Porcello. Well, no, it's I'm Rick saying... Porcello. Number, number five. Or number, number five. five. <laughs> Patriots Ravens uh, 2015 AFC championship game. This was the look, I, I, I say this often. I never played football. 
I, I only wish I did so I would know more about the schematics of it. But that Bill Belichick coach game might have been the most beautiful thing I'd ever seen with the four offensive linemen switching up the eligible receivers in the second half. That was hilarious. John Harbaugh was losing his mind and it was all within the rules. And it was Bill being the smartest person in the room. Love that. Also the Jules um, double pass to Danny Amendola. It was spectacular. I love uh, number- Julie Edelman, by the way. After his appearance yeah. on PMT, he's hilarious. Yeah. He, uh, he, he gets he's really funny. Him. Yeah, he got trouble. The end of it was he's so like, funny. He got suspended for PEDs, too. That number four, uh, the Shane Victorino 2013 ALCS Grand Slam against the Dodgers after the Jose Iglesias error loaded the bases. Uh, that was weirdly, like it was 2013, but that was one of my first, one of my first baseball memories I can remember. I was 12. But, like, I'm sure I remember stuff before that, but that is one of them. Uh, number three, can't believe this is all the way down at three. Uh, the Patriots Super Bowl comeback against the Atlanta Falcons. Wow. What? Number three, um, that was a wonderful, wonderful, but, you know, it's Tom Brady. I, I, I always had a little bit of hope. A little oh, bit. Come on. Uh, it was 28 to three. It did look against an MVP, Matt Ryan came through MVP. Yeah. Once long time ago, man. Uh, But yeah, that game was absolutely not long ago. Spectacular. Uh, Number two, the Ben attendee ALCS catch. Um, I just remember I had like heart palpitations (laughs) after that. (laughs) It was slightly frightening, but I was like, no, this is great. This is just another night that Red Sox sent us to bed happy. There's another one, one of those. One of one of 119. So many. Isn't that right, Larry? 119. Well, it doesn't think that team was good. It's okay. Number one, the. Do I have to say it? The Malcolm. Oh, well, I don't. Butler I don't INT. know what it is. The Malcolm Butler INT. Oh, it wasn't the Super Bowl Patriots. No. no. <laughs> um, I don't. I don't remember that. I was only six. The Malcolm Butler INT because because that was a more certain like. This is how I justify that above the Falcons one. The Falcons one was gradual. Yes, yeah. it was probably when that more happened, you know, unlikely, but that was gradual. You know, they were slowly coming back. The Matt Ryan sack, all that. The Malcolm Butler one was imminent death. And then all of a sudden y- you come back to life. It was incredible. And shout Chris, out to uh, Tower for tackling more Sean. Malcolm Butler yeah. was like really bad after that, right? He got a deal because yeah. of it. He had like stunk. one good year and then yeah. had a big deal with the Titans and then stunk. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. But one he, play just he, made someone like $20 million that year. Like, yeah. Yeah. I mean, he, he was one of the past better corners in 2019 and then he got, uh, he's no Mr. 2017. INT. 2017. And then he got benched in the Super Bowl, which we're not going to talk about. But no, he is no Mr. <laughs> INT. He is no Mr. Uh, INT. Uh, Chris, um, I, so I want to ble- I want to um, thank you for being a Boston sports fan for being part of two historical moments, like blessing me with two historical moments throughout my life. Um, I watched the worst Super Bowl of all time, Patriots versus Rams. I that literally, sucks. I mean, that was the that worst was Super awful. Bowl of all time. You just tried to roast me about my team winning. A Super Chris Bowl. had a good time. No, Chris could have even had a good time during that game. That was. I mean, I'm sure watching Tom with the trophy was enough of a good time. Yeah, that Jared Goff late interception was wonderful. Jared Goff made a Super Bowl run. Yeah, and um, the luckiest Super Bowl of all time, the the Malcolm Butler one. So that's two historical moments I can tell my kids. You just tried to to burn me by telling me about two times my team won the Super Bowl. Yeah, that kind of backfired. Um, all right, picks, picks, picks. Picks. Picks, All right, picks. picks. Uh, like I said, I blew CB and Enoons out in November because of my First Otani time in five months, future. Um, so yeah, yeah, we're we're running on time here. We got a dash. We got a dash. So AJ, the gambling goldfish, she's been on fire. Like I said, on fire, on fire, on fire. But she lost last week. She's trying to bounce back. Georgia minus six and a half on the left, Alabama plus six and a half on the right. Going to be a great game. She's on the bottom right now, pecking around at food. Let's see. Let's see. Pecking. Oh, not even close. No hesitation. He knows she, uh, she knows she has to get right. 
Why yeah. does she always go right, right to Georgia? She always, I got I a conspiracy. She goes to the left every time. No, that that's what I'm saying. But every time I say that, then the next week she's going to go right. She's done it like three times. But she loves road dogs. She loves road dogs. But, yeah, yeah, that, that's what you got. Um, who, who's going first for picks? Who's going first? Uh, I imagine I have more than both of you, so I'll go first and get out of the way. Let's do it. All right. Uh, I'll start with the NHL. Mm. Uh, Cavs minus 210 versus the Blue Jackets tomorrow. Uh, Cavs have to get right a couple of um, really bad losses in a row. I don't really count yeah. the second loss because it's a shootout, and the shootout shouldn't exist. But uh, the first really? loss was really, really bad. What? I like shootouts. Shootout's a joke. Oh. Um Next, I have Ovi to score. The odds aren't out for these yet because the game is tomorrow, and I don't know why odd sites hate me. I have Ovi over a, a point and a half. Uh, he's going to get right. The Caps are going to get right. And then I have the Golden Knights minus one and a half versus the Coyotes. That's plus 115. And then I have the Oilers minus one and a half versus the Kraken, plus 180. McDavid, I'm always going to bet on McDavid. Uh, college football, some interesting games this week, to say the least. I have the Cincy versus Houston over 53 points. I think Cincy might do that on their own, to be completely honest. Mm. Uh, this is their last chance. This is their last chance. Their coach is staying. Their yes, he is. is staying. yes, he is. Yes, They're going to come out. They're going to play for their coach because he didn't leave him like that other loser. I'm not even going to say his name. What a, uh, loser. What what a coward loser. Uh, um, next, I have Pitt minus three versus Wake Forest. I, I, I bet on Wake a bunch this year. They kind of let me down recently. They, they really slowed down. They were really good, and then they lost to Clemson. And Clemson's not a good loss this year. I mean, it's not bad, but it's not good. Uh, I yeah. think uh, I think, I think, think this is a good game, but I think Pitt wins by a touchdown or so. I think it's a high-scoring game, too. Uh, next, give me Georgia minus six and a half versus Bama. Let me get one thing straight. I'm rooting for Bama. I want Bama to win this mm. game. I always root for Bama when the playoffs come to be the playoffs. I like Nick Saban. But this Georgia team, that defense, I mean, Auburn is giving Bama fits last week. I, I don't think they're going to really go in there and – as good as I think Bryce Young is, as good as I think Mechie is, I, I, that Georgia defense is different. I mean, that's an NFL defense. There, there are 11 NFL players on that defense, and that's a scary thing. And they're going to be able to reload next year, which is even scarier. Uh, one college basketball pick would be Purdue minus 12 and a half versus Iowa. Don't have to think much about that one. Purdue is top to bottom, probably the deepest team in the country. Um, they're going to blow out most teams they play. You know, they'll lose eventually because, you know, it's a good conference, the Big Ten, but – Eventually, that's not tomorrow or to, tonight. That's not tonight. They're not losing tonight. Uh, NFL, I have the Patriots plus 120 and the Patriots plus three versus the Bills. I'm not going to bet against the Patriots right now. They're hot, and they're playing a Bills team that really hasn't impressed lately. I mean, they had a big win on Thanksgiving over the Saints. Congrats, I guess. I mean. Noon, your your hair looks real good today. You're get out of here. Thank you, Chris. Get a room. Thank get you, Chris. <laughs> Um, the Bills uh, aren't very good Make right now. I don't, sick. <laughs> I don't think there's anything to say right there. Um, the Patriots are playing some good ball. It's December, which means Bill Belichick master classes are incoming. That's one thing I do know. Bill Belichick's gonna do his thing. Future Jaguars head coach. Oh, uh, he, he's gonna he's gonna say farewell with the, with the Patriots after a Super Bowl this season. You're gonna say goodbye, and he's gonna come coach Trevor. Uh, next, I have the Broncos plus nine and a half versus the Chiefs. I'm not getting caught in the trap of the Chiefs covering. They don't cover. They didn't cover when they were good, and Ooh, apparently they don't cover this year either. I so, I almost did that, but I'm not I just want to talk through it. No, I just want to talk through it. The bye week, they had a yeah. bye. Andy Reid coming off a bye. They're good. I no, but I almost did the Broncos. That's the only reason I'm commenting. But I, I got scared the by the defense. bye. I love the Broncos defense. I think Teddy's good enough to gash. No, I'm sticking with it. I'm sticking with it. Broncos, that's too many points. Too many points against a decent Broncos team. Next, I have the Niners minus three and a half. They're coming on strong. You can't disagree. They're coming on They're coming on strong. Um, play calling's good. They lost Devo. That's a tough hit. Yeah. It's a really tough hit. But uh, I like Brandon Ayuk a lot. Uh, I like the way he had 91 yards last week, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so they're going to use him a ton. I think it's going to work out really well. Next, I have the Ravens minus four and a half versus the Steelers. I don't like betting on the Ravens this year just because you've seen the Ravens games. I mean, it's a it's a flip flop every time it feels like. But Big Ben is the worst quarterback in the NFL. Hmm. He stinks. I'm reading a stat right now. 
The Steelers are one and six against the spread. I just stole LA stat. I stole it. It's mm-hmm. mine now. I stole it, but at I, Ryan, I, huh? Big Ben, yep. at Ryan, Big Ben, Taysom Hill, worst wow. three quarterbacks in the that's, league, you that's might argue. Harsh. Taysom mm-hmm. does stink, though. Uh, next, I have, I should mortal lock this. I'm not going to. Jags plus 460. Listen, I have logic on this one. I have logic, Chris. I have the logic. On the, the road? Have me at an all time low. Whenever they have me at an all time low, they come out swinging. Okay? They come out mm. swinging. Everyone's saying this is a get right game. Everyone's on the Rams. Well, guess what? I don't care. I don't care. Urban, Urban Masterclass incoming. Yeah. Urban Masterclass. Urban I had an anonymous against the Rams. Anonymous source texted me uh, yesterday that Rams spread was a lock. lock uh, anonymous week. source was, mm. it was probably me, to be honest. There's a good chance. No, the Jags win this game. I've never been more confident in the less confident I am in a team. Okay. <laughs> that makes right. total sense. Next, I have the Washington football team plus 100 and plus one. Sure. I am, I'm, I'm, they win these, they're winning these gritty games. Uh, I don't know. I'm on board. Uh, it was tough to read the Atlantic Collins and McKissick would be out. Yeah. But AG has looked really, really good. AG looks healthy again. Dare I say looks healthy. Yep. He looks healthy. He's going to run all over everybody the rest of the way. I'm confident in it. That's all Mm. I got. Wait, 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 wait. You have NHL. No, no, he, he did NHL. I forgot my call. I forgot. I forgot NBA. I forgot NBA and two yeah. of my college picks, which is weird. Yeah. Uh, I have USC plus one seventy five versus Cal. They hired their coach. Those guys are fired up. The guys on that team, they got to be fired up with Lincoln Riley coming. They know they have their coach for the future, which must be nice because he's not. He's obviously a great coach. I mean, scumbag aside, he's a good coach. Uh, what what he did, I don't agree with. How he did it, I don't agree with. But yeah. good coach. Then I have Army minus eight versus Navy. I was going to go Navy plus eight because that's too many points, but Army's uniforms are incredible. Isn't that next week? Is it next week? I mean, it's up on here. I, I saw I, I thought I it was think it's next week. week. But it, I think it's if next it is next week, week but... I'm still taking it. All right, all right. I mean, Army minus eight versus Navy. Those, look at Army's uniforms. Look up Army's uniforms right now and tell me you aren't on the minus eight train. Because uh, next week um... – you're going to see, uh, but I think, you know, what my mortal okay. lock is going to be next week. Uh, yeah, I know exactly what your mortal lock is going to be next week. Uh, yep. I have the, in the NBA, I have the Wizards minus three and a half versus the Cavs. Uh, I have the Suns plus seven versus the Warriors and the Suns plus 235 versus the Warriors. I don't care if they're coming off a of back-to-back. They've won 18 games in a row. I'm not going to bet against them when it's plus 235. That's ridiculous. No Booker. That, that is, huh? No Booker. I don't care. Chris, right. Paul. Chris Paul. Don't care. Plus two thirty five for a team that's won eighteen straight. Please, they closed out without Booker against the Warriors uh, this week, yeah. so they could do it again. Last pick: yeah. Celtics plus seven and a half versus the Jazz. Celtics mm. win this game outright. I'm going to act up. Mm. Um. All right, CB, you want me to go because I see you have a more to lock, so I'm going to save you some yeah. time. I'm I'm going to dash yeah. quick. Um, my first game going NBA first: Jazz minus seven and a half versus the Celtics. Celtics stink. Jazz are going to expose them tonight. No Jalen Brown. Celtics are pathetic. I love the Jazz here. Jazz are a very solid basketball team. Got Wizards minus three and a half versus the Cavs. Wizards been playing good, good ball. Um, Cavs are sneaky. Cavs are sneaky, but I like the Wizards tonight. Um, College football, Baylor plus six versus Oklahoma State. No numbers back this up. I like Oklahoma State a lot. I just got I just got a feeling with Baylor. No, I, I got a feeling. I got a feeling. Um, then I got a teaser. I got Cincinnati minus four versus Houston. It's minus 10 right now. Houston's very, very good. They're a one loss team. They they had a bad game versus Texas AM. They blew it. They could be undefeated. They could be undefeated. They're a very good team. I still think Cincinnati's gonna win minus four here. And then Georgia minus 0.5 versus Alabama. Love that teaser. Because I also have Georgia minus six and a half. Georgia minus six and a half. Big cat game of the year. Shout out big cat. Alabama is not good. They will get exposed. Iowa plus 11 versus Michigan. Michigan is 0 and 5 against the spread in December. I was 5 and 0 their last in December. It is now December. I won November. No big deal. Um, Pitt versus Wake Forest over 71, over 71. Both of these teams can score. Too, by the way. There we go. There we go. Because both these teams can score. Over and 15 out of the last 20 for Pitt, six out of the last eight for Wake. That's 75% of the time. 
I'm a math guy. I've been on fire today. Um, football team plus 105 versus Raiders. Raiders three and six against the spread their last nine. Looks like Deshaun Jackson's out, so we can't get a deep ball TD. Raiders are dead, um, and we're four and one our last five against Vegas against the spread. Jaguars plus 13 versus Rams. Rams never cover these double digit games. They don't do it. They're 0 5 against the spread their last five in the general. Masterclass. Um, yeah, and I like NFL dogs. I like like NFL dogs. Dolphins minus four and a half. Giants absolute, absolutely stink. It's Mike Glennon time, baby. Um, Danny Dimes is out. Saquon is a Ooh, fraud. Bills minus too. two and a half. Yeah, I mean, that that's, that's Dolphins I forgot are hot, about man. Um, Bills minus two and a half versus Pats. Pats are going to take a step back. Confirmed. Ravens minus four and a half versus Steelers. Steelers one and six against the spread at home. Their last seven. Ravens cover against the Steelers. Um, then I got Cardinals minus one and a half, Dolphins even versus Giants for another teaser. Two teasers this week. Then I'm saving my mortal lock. Taking that teaser too. Teasers, right. man. CB, love it. I'm glad you're on the train. Um, all right, my picks. Uh, Ravens minus one against the football team. One of the easiest bets on the board this oh week. My gosh. Football team absolutely uh, stinks. Uh, look, the Ra- uh, Raiders just beat the Cowboys. They're playing at home. Washington football team, come on. Uh, Ravens Steelers over 44. Ravens Steelers over 44. It's too low. Both these teams put up, what, a combined like 20 points last week? We're going to shift course. They're, they're going to they're gonna score this week. Uh, Buccaneers minus 10 against the Atlanta Falcons. I just talked about Tom Brady dominating the Falcons. There's no way i take the Falcons Chris, here. What is this next pick? The, bu- <laughs> the Bucs the Bucks are much better than uh, the Falcons, Matt Ryan stinks. Uh, next pick, Evan McPherson, over 1.5 field goals made at plus 120 odds is ridiculous. Ridiculous. Taking that too. 22-year-old kicker on the Sold. Cincinnati Bengals. Chargers allow the eighth most fantasy points to opposing kickers. Uh, look, just trust me. I'm a little worried about the weather, but we're going to be fine. Uh, Alabama, alternate spread, plus 7.5. Um, too many people are, are on Georgia, minus 6.5. Don't trust it. Don't watch college football. Bama plus seven and a half. Lock it in. Uh, Dolphins minus four and a half against the Giants. I will take that. Thank you, Larry. Uh, Next up, I got a parlay. Colts money line against the Texans. Vikings money line against the Lions. Eagles money line against the Jets. Rams money line against the Jags. Noon's going to mess that up for me. Uh, And 49ers money line against the Seahawks. Uh, Minus 170. That boosts the odds. Um, can't lose parlay plus 292 odds. Finally, my mortal lock. Yes, sir. I'll just do it right now. I roll into it. Uh, Eagles minus one, Vikings minus one. Teaser that's a mortal lock of the century. First mortal lock from Mr. Blake in five weeks. My mortal lock is football team, football team, football team. I love the Ravens, I love the Ravens, no. but I'm doing the football team to stick it to UCB. Three straight's going to be four. No, no, that can I double lock? Double lock. Wow. Raiders minus no. one. No.